circles that are tangent to each other and we're going to do a couple different kinds of circles and this is a function that's not actually built into uh, to LibreCAD so this one's going to require us to uh, have to do a little work even if we're doing it in CAD. Okay first I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to draw a circle I need to know the radius of it so I'm going to draw it right there and it has a radius of 2 okay now let's say that uh, that is the uh, pitch diameter of a gear and I want another gear that's twice that diameter and I want it parallel uh, obviously meshing with this gear so then I need to draw a second circle and uh, the second circle will be the diameter of both the uh, four inch diameter and the two inch diameter to radius I'm sorry radiuses together so we will draw this thing with a radius of six and we will draw it in the center of that circle so now all the way around this line if I put a four inch radius circle it will be just touching this one it will be just tangent with it if I want to draw it on a particular line, let's say I draw a two-point line and I start from the radi from the center of the first circle, and uh, I draw that out here anywhere. Now, if I draw my second circle and I draw it so it's centered on this, then it will be uh, exactly right. We'll do go ahead and do it. So we make a uh, radius of 4, because that's what our final circle we want it to be. And uh, I clicked the wrong button over here. I'll get it right. I don't know if this is going to come out right or not. And I'm going to go to that intersection right there. And I have my final circle. So you see I have a 2 inch circle in tangent with a 4 inch circle. Okay, let's complicate things just a little more. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, let's say I'm going to draw, a, uh, I have two circles here. And the second circle, I'm going to make its radius of 3. And I want to do this on layer 0. So somewhere out here, I'm going to draw a circle with radius 3. And it's not tangent to that one. But now I want to draw a circle with radius 4 that's tangent to both of these. So what I have to do is I have to draw a circle. And we'll do this in construction layer. And I want to make it a radius, again, of 2 plus, 2 plus 4 would make 6. Radius of 6. And I again draw it from the center of that circle. Okay, again, any point on that circle would be tangent to this one. Now I have to do one that is radius of 3 plus 4, which would make a radius of 7. And I draw it to the center of this circle. Now I've got two places where I could draw my uh, final circle, which only has a radius of 4. One of those is the intersection up here at the top, and this has to be a radius of 4. And it's tangent to both of those, and then the second one is down here. Again, I could be drawing some kind of gear train. Um, this could be like my driving gear. This is an intermediate, and this is my output gear. Uh, why would I want to do all this? I'm not sure, but anyhow, that would be a, a gear train, the way it would work. And then, of course, we have to draw teeth around all this, which is another whole problem. But there's an example. I'll give you a second example. This is actually the reason I started getting in on this, uh, on this drawing of uh, graphical construction. Uh, I was trying to solve a problem. 
And what I was curious about is if I have wires wrapped around a, a core, and those wires, I give them a generic radius of 0.5 or a diameter of 1. So they're wrapped tightly around this core. Well, how, how much, how big does it get on the second layer? And it turns out I was, I had to draw parallel, I'm sorry, tangent circles. They're all the same diameter in this case. And I was able to calculate my answer, which came out to be, let's go to information. And we'll go to intersections from here to there. That circle is at 0.866, which turns out to be one of those magic numbers. It's a square root of 3 divided by 2. And uh, that's because all these angles are 60 degrees, which if I had sat down and thought about it, I probably could have come up with it. But it was a whole lot quicker to do this. And then once I did it, I decided, what the heck, this is kind of pretty. So I just kept right on drawing circles and having a high old time here. But, uh... That is a case there where it was really useful. I found out that each time it builds by 0 .6, 0 0.866 of the diameter of the wire. So I could calculate how big the diameter of a coil would be if I knew how many feet of wire I wanted. So, uh, that's some uses for this thing. And uh, I will do probably the two circles in... Uh, two circles tangent to, to a final circle by hand here in just a minute, and you will get to see that. Appreciate you watching. There's more to come. Uh, back again. Okay, I've drawn two circles, one with a radius of one, one with a radius of two, and we're going to try to uh, make a circle with radius of 3 that touches both of them. So 1 plus 3 makes 4. So I got to draw a arc of 4. And hopefully I've raised the camera this time. We'll see if uh, the angle's better. So this is the one we're going to do the uh, see if I can find the exact center. That should be it. So we'll draw an arc here. That should be enough. Okay, 2 plus 3 makes 5. Genius, huh? <laughs> 2 plus 3 makes at 5. I got screwed up on this previous one. I did. Okay, so let's do it right this time. Always got to think about what you're doing. Hey, so this is the arc. It's four. That's the one I have to use. And now we do two plus three makes five. So we go way out here. About the limit of this little compass. And let's see, I'm not quite there yet. Too far. <laughs> Too far again. Loosen the thing up just a skosh. Get it adjusted. Okay, that's five right there, and it already moved. So obviously, I loosened it a little too much. When I'm saying I'm loosening it, there's a friction setting on this thing. I think that's five. So now we get in the center point of this one, we draw our arc. Okay, now where those two meet should be exactly where I want to draw the, the arc for three, the circle. 
and that's as good as I'm going to get it. And so now we draw it. And we're a little bit off, but not much. So it worked. Oh, we got a little bit of an overlap right here, but pretty dang close. So that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's the way you do it. Hopefully you have a better compass than what I'm using. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully you got something out of this scary fox of create make.